Konnichiwa. Bonjour! I'm Dr. Mustache, and here at the Pet Collective, we've been wondering, do our animals understand what we're saying to them? I speak English, but does my Portuguese water dog know what I mean? How about my German Shepherd? What about my Chihuahua? Does my dog speak Spanish? Based on early human records, scientists have found that ancient people felt a deep connection with the animals that surrounded and inhabited their environment, especially dogs, which have been man's companion for anywhere from 10 to 30,000 years. And the creation myths of ancient civilizations from around the globe involve stories of humans communicating directly with animals. The North American Iroquois believed that the world began when the Sky Woman fell from the sky, naturally, and was rescued by birds, a sea turtle, and a muskrat. You heard me, a muskrat. The indigenous people of the Arctic Circle believed a young woman, Sedna, angered her father by marrying a dog, and he, her father that is, threw her into the sea. When she tried to climb back onto the boat, he chopped off her fingers, which became the whales, walrus, and seals that the Inuit hunt. That's a feel-good story, isn't it? Why hasn't Disney made a princess movie about that one yet? But communicating with our closest animal companions is just something for stories, right? Well, not according to a new study that indicates that dogs, like infants, are always looking for clues as to what adult humans are trying to say. Hungarian scientists have published a study in the journal Current Biology. In the study, human subjects would make eye contact with a dog and say, hi dog, and then they would look at a vase. Oh my, what a beautiful vase. Then they would repeat the process, this time without making eye contact with the dog and just saying, hi dog. What they found is that after making eye contact with the dog, the dog would actually follow their look at the inanimate object. This phenomenon, known as gaze following, has been found in infants and now in dogs. Here's something even more amazing. British and American scientists have published papers in the journal Science and American Science, hypothesizing that humans have a physical trait that makes it easier for dogs to understand us, the whites of our eyes. That's right, the white part of our eyes, or sclera, allows dogs to be able to tell at a distance what we're looking at without us having to move our head. Pretty cool, right? It's a lot easier than with other primates like chimpanzees and gorillas that have dark sclera. But that's not the question, right? I mean, I can watch my dog and tell whether or not it wants to go out or have something to eat based on its body language. What we want to know is, can man's best friend actually understand the words that are coming out of our mouths? Well, it turns out that the answer is yes. Some dogs can learn to understand an impressive number of words. German scientists studied a border collie named Rico, who they found could remember the names of over 200 objects. Researchers would show the dog a toy, tell him its name, and then they would quiz Rico, asking him to retrieve the object from a large assortment of toys. According to the study published in the journal Science, Rico was able to remember the names of toys for over a month. So, back to our original question. Does my dog speak Spanish? Well, if my dog were Rico, and he'd been taught the names of the objects in Spanish, then yes, he would understand Spanish. However, Rico was from Germany, and so he was probably taught the words in German. Now, maybe your dog is no Rico, but he should be able to understand words like treat, walk, and other simple commands. Or maybe he prefers the occasional convite de perro. So, there we go. Question answered. Dogs do understand some of the words we say, but they're more attuned to the nonverbal cues that humans use to communicate with each other. A recent survey said that 80% of American pet owners consider themselves to be their pet's parents. And from gaze following to word remembering, it's clear that more and more our pets do feel like our children. Do you have a question about your pet or pets in general? Leave your question in the comments below and maybe we'll answer your question in a future episode of Pet Lab. And while you're here, click on the button above to subscribe to the Pet Collective. It's a great channel with live streaming puppy cams 24 hours a day, hilarious music videos featuring pets, and me, Dr. Mustache, answering your questions about all things pet.